for you. Alka meyu demekwa. That means hello and welcome to our land in the Pumiai language, which is the land you're on now. This is the Pumiai language, uh, the Pumiai land. So in my language, I would say da te indi chato. So, which means, hello, I am Chato, an Apache. So, before we get started this morning in traditions of the American Indian way, I want everyone just to close your eyes for a couple of seconds and let's pray in your own way for everything that's going on with these fires up north and just hearing that all these little animals and wildlife, horses, everything's losing their lives. They have spirits too, they have families too, so take about 10, 12 seconds and uh, then I'll get started with what I was going to say. Uh -oh, thank you. So art to me is very healing. I was very blessed when I was in college to received the Rosa Parks Music Scholarship. Um, even though I'm an art and art history major, I'm known for my sculptures, paintings, eagles, wildlife. But I want to share a sunrise song with you, and we'll get started with the art. So 
we want awards to give all the actors. And for the last five years, I've met Annette Benning, Kate Bassingale this year, Sir Patrick Stewart, Kate Hudson. Um, it's just, um, it's been a blessing. So instead of me talking about my art, they did a video about how I feel about art, and we're going to show that. Thank you very much. Just think of the most beautiful thing that you've experienced in your life, whether it's a sunset or with your child or with a family member or with someone you love. That's what it feels like for me. All of those things that we call stress in life, it's all gone. I'm just in that moment with me, my art, my sculpture, my painting, and everything else is just gone. That's what it feels like. artist and painting American Indian style, wildlife, sculptures, uh, it's very powerful to me, it's who I am. To describe my art in one word and who I am would be, as we say in Apache, now Woody, which means strength. find a lot of my visions for my artwork in nature and I'm just out there in my element. I love it, especially with sculpture because you know you get your hands into everything, you're feeling the sculpture and you know you'll cut yourself on the wire mess so your blood's in that sculpture so it's a part of you and that inspires me. Just knowing that what I created is me, it's a part of me. People are always asking me like what kind of brushes do you use and I'm like I use some brushes, but I use sponges, I use sticks, I use a piece of plastic, piece of wire, just so many things that you can use for art. It, whether you're doing a painting, or you're doing a sculpture, and you invent your own tools. I love art. If I can't do a sculpture, I'm gonna do a painting or I'm gonna do a pencil drawing. But I'm gonna do something, even writing is, it just that creativity, you have to let it out. Why hold it inside? Let it out so the world can see it. <laughs>